This brief tutorial is meant to show you how to write with your pen and then manipulate what you've written on your smart board. Let's start by opening the notebook software. Smart Notebook 11 should be an icon on your desktop to double click. If it's not there, we'll get it there for you. It starts off with a blank page. So if I want to just start writing on that page, I'll pick up a pen, choose a pen color, and notice this is a listing of my pages. I just have one. And it's set to auto hide, so it will disappear as soon as I start writing, leaving me more blank space to work with. So I'm just going to write as I normally would. But I am writing one word after another in succession, and the software treats that as all together. Meaning, if I go to my selector tool by hitting this button with the mouse arrow on it, I can now select this at by just by touching any part of it. Now, a box has been placed around it, and I can see it's all one object. What can I do with that? Well, I can move it around. Uh, I can resize it. Uh, the classic way is by using this handle here to resize it. Uh, new with our dual touch boards is the uh, pinch to zoom gesture. So you might feel more comfortable with that. Okay. And notice, even if it's not selected, I can just grab it and select it. Even as some neat physics go on, bounce it around a little bit. But let's put it up here. And let's say we wanted to add some more points to it. So make one point in red. We'll do one in green. Notice I'm just pushing the different buttons to get the different colors. Do one in blue. Okay. Now notice there was a slight pause in between me writing each one of these points. Meaning, if I go back to my selector button, again, far right, far left hand button with the arrow on it, they're all treated as separate objects. Meaning I could move them all around separately if I wanted. But imagine I didn't want to do that. There are lots of reasons for keeping text grouped together uh, separate from other text. So, again, I'm in my selector mode. I'm going to create a box around this to select all three. Now that just means starting on one corner or another and drawing by just going in diagonal a box around what you want to select. And notice as I got uh, on the majority of each one, it became selected and a little button appeared on the upper right of each one. Now, notice any of these will work the same for getting to this menu. So notice I can go there, or there, or there, all the same options. But for right now, I want to get these things grouped together so they'll move together. So I'm going to group down here, and then I'll confirm that they are to be grouped. Okay, so now they are one object. Maybe I want to group them with this. Maybe all this text was meant to always stay together and never move away. So I'm still on select. Again, I'll just start in one corner or the other. Oops, can't hold down too long, but you start drawing this box. Select that, select that. Now there are two things selected. I'll do one of the two corner buttons. Again, does not matter whichever one I want to choose. Go to group and group, and now they're grouped together. Just in the same way, I could ungroup them if I meant to actually keep, keep them separate, okay? And when I'm too ready to erase, I select my eraser button. Uh, I can use a finger, I can use the palm of my hand. Uh, if you don't know this cool trick of drawing an imaginary circle around what you want, clicking on the inside and it goes away. Hope this has helped out a little. Please feel free to contact me anytime in the Media Center for more help.